Merry fourth day of Techmas, everyone. Today, I want to share with you a really cool free app called Flashcards by Cram. Now, it's a traditional flashcard app, but as the teacher, you have the ability to create the sets of questions the kids are going to study. They could also create their own if they create an account. It'll also allow them to play different types of review games to help them learn the content. Check it out. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go into iTunes and look for Flashcards by Cram. And then once you download it, it will look like this icon here on your iPad. Now for the students, this shows up in the Middletown app catalog, so they could just look for it and find it there. But as a teacher, you can go in directly to the iTunes store to find it. So I'm going to launch it. Now you'll notice down at the very bottom it says sign in or join. You can sign in and create an account with them. You just have to give them a username, come up with a password, and tie it to your email address. That gives you access to some of the more advanced features, plus it allows you to work from any device so you could be on your computer when you're creating your flashcard sets for the kids. Um, to kind of demo this, I'm just going to show off in the middle here, there's kind of two sections. One is search flashcard sets, and then there's also a today's featured set, which is a little tutorial, and it'll show off the features. Features. So I'm going to just tap on that. So you'll see that it gives you four different categories here. One is card set, and that's your traditional just flashcards you go through and you flip through them back and forth. Memorize allows you to go through and then you indicate if, you know, by hitting a check mark if you got it correct or not. Cram mode kind of takes that a step further and it allows you to go through and it'll pass the cards on if you get them correct and then you know once you get them correct five times and then it says that you'll know it um, and then there's another option on there for games. So I'm going to demonstrate the card set first and here you'll see they have sample flashcards. I could kind of scroll up and down just by dragging my finger. This here is one card one side of it. You'll notice that you could have graphics in it and you could also change the font size and things like that. But if I tap on it, it will now bring me into the flashcard mode. So the way that this works is down at the bottom you'll see it says one out of seven and then there's also the ability uh, all the way at the very bottom to play through the deck, random shuffle it, um, and I could also skip back. You'll notice there's a light bulb all the way in the bottom right hand corner. If I tap on that, it kind of gets rid of some of those distractions down there at the bottom. So I could toggle that off and on just by clicking on it. So this here is just the basic flashcard mode. You would look at one side of the flashcard, then you tap it, and it will give you the answer on the other side. So if you're doing definitions, it'll be the word and the definition. If I just swipe to a direction, it takes me to the next flashcard. So you can kind of see how that works. I'm going to hit the arrow in the top left-hand corner, and I'm going to hit it again to come back here, launch it again. I'm going to now show you what the memorize mode is. So memorize mode, notice here it has the addition of the red X or the green plus. So as the students are going through working with these sets, they can say, oh, I got that one right. And it will break it down into different rounds and it will tell them how many right or wrong they are. So I could go in, start over, get that one correct. You say I didn't get that one right. So what it'll do is it will start sorting them as you get them correct. It kind of hides them and you keep going through until you get the ones wrong until you get them correct. So I'm just going to go back. What I'm going to do is search flashcard sets. So for here, I could take a look at, say, addition. And this is a whole bunch of submitted ones. This is one of the benefits when you create an account. You can actually add your sets to this public collection. I'm going to actually do this one as a game. So I have a choice here with games. So I could do Jewels of Wisdom or Stellar Speller. I'm just going to do Jewels of Wisdom. So I can play the game, pick a set. I could view high scores. So with this one, I just need to figure out 9 plus 2 is 11. And this is kind of similar to some of the other apps that the kids could play as games. Notice it has a little timer up there. So nice little handy app um, for it being free. It does give you a lot of options and if you want to create your own sets all you have to do is sign in and uh, create an account. Well that's our tech tip for today. Please let me know if you have any questions and have an awesome day.